Hey guys, welcome back to Phoenix Bright Ace Attorney. Continuing since last time, and I caught up to where we left off last time. So let's continue, because last time was really humiliating. I said last time probably like 30 million times just now. Holy shit, it is. That is loud. Sorry about that. You guys get to see my bombs. Okay, anyways. She gave up trying to use the phone wall and just used her cell phone. I think, if I do know, remember correctly, I think I brought us to the right place and present this. Good. And it's where, <laughs> not, not what she saw. Dang it! I have to, <clears throat> I have to conclude that you have a personal grudge against Miss Lana Sky. The witness is a former detective. Her testimony is unmarred by personal bias. Well, who would have thought you would be a my knight in shining armor, prosecutor? You, who, together with a shield prosecutor, kicked me out two years ago. Oh, so it was Edgeworth who actually did it himself. I don't know that. Well, Miss Star. This is a fatal contradiction with your testimony. How do you explain this? Hmph, I don't know what you're talking about. Mess with me, and I'll make you cough it all up. Ahem, let's look at the floor plan. You said you witnessed the crime from this point. However, if that's true, you couldn't possibly have seen this guy making that phone call. I believe you see what I'm getting at. The emergency phone was on the black back side of this partition. If indeed you were in block B, you couldn't have seen it. Wah! Wah! My treats, my pastries, my bento boxes. Order, order, what is the meaning of this? It's simple, your honor. She's not coughing up lunch, she's coughing up lies. Hoo Ugh. That's quite a claim, Mr. Wright. Perhaps you will allow me to question? Tell exactly what lie this witness has told the court. Here's where the counterattack begins. I can't afford to get this wrong. The witness lied about where she saw it. She tried to use the emergency phone, but it was out of order. What is significant about this fact? Nothing. It would be pointless for her to lie about it. Pointless lie? I see. The witness did actually see Miss Sky using the emergency phone. In other words, Miss Star witnessed the crime from a different location. A different location? Now that's pointless. That's a pointless live I ever heard one. Whoa! Objection back and forth, son! Before you call me my lie pointless, at least let me tell it. Oh, snaps. Let me let me ask a question to our clever wordsmith, Mr. Wright. I'm a Connie West, I'm a lyrical wordsmith, yo. Yeah. Just be just where the just where the, was a witness when she saw the crime. All the testimony we've heard up to now heard until now points in one direction. Baby, you died up. Uh, this place from oh shit, that's fast. The place from where Miss Star witnessed the crime scene. The security room. Boop. Present. This is the only place where she could have been. The security guard room. Indeed, the security ro guard room. <coughs> Excuse me. Indeed, the security room in this underground parking lot is well positioned. It's built on the second level so you can see the entire lot. Hmm, she would have been able to see the emergency phone from there. But why there? There are many other places where she could have seen the phone. Her boy Toyo? Not in this case, your honor. The witness, not being part of the prosecutor's office, couldn't park in A block. The only place where she could have seen the crime in the back of the partition is here. I remember in your testimony you said you brought a lunch to your boyfriend in the security guard room, yes? Well, Miss Star? Oh, yeah. How many years have I been getting the better men? To think that the tables could have been turned? Today, a man has got the better of Angel Star. <coughs> My voice is getting crazy there. Order! Order! Witness! What have you done? You used to be a detective. You should know better. <laughs> I'm not turning back. The guilty will be punished. And I'll do what I must to make sure justice prevails. The guilty is she talking about Miss Guy? Oh, uh, Miss Wright, doesn't this strike you as odd? Why did Miss Star lie? It doesn't make sense. This is what she said last time, and I got in trouble like crazy, huh? She could have just said she saw the crime from the security guard station. It won't change anything. Exactly. This photograph tells all. This photograph tells all. Oh crap! I just said that. It was the defendant who stabbed the victim. That truth still stands. 
It still stands? I disagree, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, this is where it's different from last time! What? If a witness is found to be lying, they're guilty of perjury. She knows this. She wouldn't risk that without a good reason. So tell us what her reason was, Mr. Wright. Uh, huh? Me? Who, who else? Mr. Wright, let's reveal what we know. Alright, there's a security room. Miss Star witnessed the- Oh, that's my voice. Miss Star witnessed this crime from the security guard station. But she lied and said she saw it from Block B. It must make a vital difference. What would change? But what? What would change? Angle of view crime. Distance to the crime. Difference in lighting. Well, angle would definitely be because there's a partition away. But if she ran from upstairs, that makes a huge difference because... Because... Uh, difference in lighting, that sounds so stupid. I don't think that would be it. One of these two. In angel? This angel of you? I think it's just an angel. I'm gonna say this one now since I said angel. Okay, let's see this. I think it's gonna take her too long. It changes the distance between her and the scene of the crime. My condolences, Mr. Wright. But one look at the floor plans and it's quite clear. The distance between the scene of the crime and the guard station is 30 feet. I don't see how that would change what she could see. What she saw is not in question here. What matters is the time it would take her to reach the scene of the crime. Miss hmm? Dar, you witnessed the crime from the security guard station. Now, how long did it take you to go from there to the scene of the crime when you where you arrested Miss Sky? Well, witness, you. Yes. What's that? It's like curly fries or something. You ordered the squid wheels, right? The, the quality of my lunches has gone from low to inedible. <laughs> yeah, she's giving you the, the, the bad bunch, huh? I was bring a PB&J lunch with my fresh boysenberry. Boysenberry? That sounds like a K-pop band. Yo, boysenberry, K-pop, 2014. Jam, to my boyfriend. Hmm, boysenberries for the boyfriend? He wasn't in the station, so I waited. I went as a crime from the glass walled station. And before I knew what I was doing, I found myself running towards the scene. But the door was locked. I couldn't open it. Wait, what? If the door was locked, then it took it forever to get there. That's why I had to go through the visitors parking in Block B. That's that was quite a detour. It probably took me at least five minutes to get to the scene of the crime. Five minutes? Hmm, this changes things considerably. But it was that woman over there in the defendant's chair who stabbed him. I know it. I have photographed evidence. Well, you didn't have evidence of her actually stabbing him, did you? I swear. I swear I'm a finest plastic spork. You have a point. And the wonder and the spork is a wonderful invention. <laughs> you have a point. Is pointy spork? What is that? Would you like another caviar lunch? <laughs> it looks like um, what are those things called? Oh, I forgot what they're called. It's like those things like like old women have in their houses. That's like sweet treats. That's like jam in it sometimes. Oh, what's it called? Jammy, jammy Dodgers. Is that what it is? I think so. Absolutely. Doesn't like caviar. Uh oh, Mr. Wright. You have to do something. Do I have evidence to stop this? Uh... Do we have evidence? Let's just look at the court record. Wait, she ran there in five minutes? The door was locked. Changes things considerably. Uh... Doesn't that help us though? That she said that it took her a long time to get there? Cause then... Parking lot floor plan. Actually, I'm gonna sit back and relax, see what happened. I think I need more evidence before I could go sticking my spork in this mess. Ooh, caviar! Ah, how it makes my eyes tingle. Mr. Wright, no evidence can win against the raw power of caviar, it's scientific fact. The only thing that's left is your strong presence and deaf powers of deduction. 
let's screw the lead back on these over those overpriced fish eggs. Five minutes between the witnessing of the murder and the rest. Think about it. You could make a pasta in that amount of time. If you like it al dente. I've got lunchboxes that tie pasta into knots, rookie. The five minute blank. Isn't that strange? Strange. If you were a criminal, what would you do with five minutes, your honor? Well, um, I guess I'd flee the scene. Hey. Don't get the wrong idea, I didn't kill anyone. <laughs> no, no, sir. But you have the instincts of a killer. You would run. But this time it was different. Miss Skye dawdled at the scene of the crime. She even had her picture taken. No true criminal would act this way. It's inconceivable. Yeah, my, my launch boxes, my jammy dodger caviar things. Well then, it seems we've come to the end of this testimony. She has a grudge against the defendant and there is a blank in her testimony. Mr. Edgeworth is the next witness ready to go? Unfortunately, I appear to have overestimated the witness on account of her professional history. Oh, we did it! We screwed the can shut, Mr. Wright. That was too close. I'm afraid that the cough of Queen has been dethroned. Ho <laughs> And with that, court is adjourned. What? Oh, I got goosebumps and she has the curly fries again. Mr. Edgeworth, you ordered the squid wheels, right? Oh, she's giving everyone squid wheels now. That's the one she tried to foist off on me. <laughs> I, I prefer not to take the defense team's leftovers. Anything else? <laughs> Anything else to say? I, <laughs> I might be able to save you. I have decisive evidence. What, what was that? Is this another one of her trick lunchboxes? My apologies. But we have no further questions to ask of you, Miss R. Ah. What's that? Is this your jumbo lunchbox? I don't know what's in there. Woohoo! A triple decker! <laughs> out, out of difference to the witness termination, I'll allow one more testimony. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's hear about this decisive evidence. Like the lunchbox model says, you won't be disappointed. Well, she's going to pull out of her lunchbox this time, yeah. Oh crap, do we have time? We have about two minutes, let's see. Let's, maybe we can get her testimony out. I should have mentioned those five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. And now, to the matter of the victim shoes, did I not bring this up? Wait, what? And now, to the matter of the victim shoe, did I not bring this up? What? Two types of blood were found on the shoe. One was of course the victim's, and the other was the defendant, Miss Lana Skye's blood. This shoe proves it as false, decisive evidence. Oh crap. The heck? Where did she even get that shoe from? Did she steal it from the guy? That doesn't make sense. She had, she kept evidence from the cop, so that's not legal, is it? What? There was blood found on the shoe? Try Lunchland for all your lunch and decisive evidence needs. Oh, I hate this person. Witness, what's the meaning of this? Why is this the first time I've heard of this evidence? Simple. As I've already said, I don't trust you with evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. That's why I took the liberty of investigating this myself. And you had the blood test performed? Didn't I mention? I have three boyfriends in forensics. Jeez, I thought you had I thought you had three boyfriends too. total, whatever. In any case, Your Honor, I can't accept this as evidence. What? You should know the two rules of evidence law, Miss Starr. Rule one, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of Miss a uh, police department. In other words, this shoe is illegal evidence, at least for the time being. Is that right, Mr. Wright? It seems so. Edgeworth sure is celebrating. Not so fast, Mr. Edgeworth. Don't forget, I used to be a detective. As I mentioned previously, this shoe has already been tested by a member of the forensics department. As you can see, it was approved by the police department as of today. Even the general public can produce official evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. Ugh, ugh. Dang it. Is this right, Mr. Wright? It seems so. Edgeworth is looking pretty sullen. Alright guys, we gotta continue next time because I took too long. Thanks for watching and we can see Edgeworth's scary face or sullen face. Thank you, goodbye. Um, how do I stop this? <laughs> Day and the mate.